Well, in the last couple of years, we've published, I guess, some very important um, studies in the major medical journals, both in the Lancet and the New England Journal of Medicine. And these are very big international trials led here um, at the um, Alfred Hospital in Monash University, um, funded by very large research grants from the NHMRC. And they're designed as very large pragmatic trials addressing particular questions in anaesthesia and perioperative care. The first was around the use of nitrous oxide. There was a great concern that nitrous oxide could lead to harmful effects in people with cardiovascular disease, and we know that's a growing proportion of the patients we care for. So that was very much a safety study, uh, and it was a really important one looking at the risk of heart attack, stroke, or death after surgery. And we were able to definitively demonstrate that in fact nitrous oxide is very safe to use in everyday practice, even in those people that have got major medical diseases such as uh, coronary artery disease and so on. So that was very reassuring and it put to rest a really big problem that's been uh, certainly around in anaesthesia and surgery circles for many years. Uh, in the last few years we've published uh, our research uh, around patients having cardiac surgery. Uh, we were looking at two particular aspects of that. One was whether or not aspirin should be continued or stopped before the surgery because of concerns around a bleeding risk. Uh, and the second study was looking at a drug called tranexamic acid. Uh, it's an antifibrolytic drug that actually prevents bleeding during surgery and is now commonly used. Uh, in the first instance with the aspirin, there was a concern that if we stopped the aspirin because of bleeding concerns, that that might increase the risk of heart attack or stroke. And in our big trial published in the New England Journal earlier this year, we were able to show that in fact there is no such risk. We could greatly reassure everybody involved in the care of people having cardiac surgery, that includes cardiologists, um, anaesthetists of course, but also cardiac surgeons. Uh, and now we would recommend that patients in fact should stay on their aspirin uh, because uh, there isn't a particular bleeding risk in this modern era. Uh, and the potential benefits for them, at least in the waiting time before the surgery, uh, is clearly demonstrated. In the second big study that we published just a few weeks back in the New England Journal of Medicine, uh, looking at the effectiveness of tranexamic acid, once again there's been a lot of concern about whether it's truly safe to use in cardiac surgery, and in fact other types of surgery. Because it prevents bleeding complications, there's a concern that it might have increased thrombotic events such as heart attack, stroke or death. And that was really quite um, uncertain. Uh, a lot of um, um, doctors caring for patients having cardiac surgery were unsure about whether they should use it in certain types of patients uh, or what dose to use. Um, and in fact, is it safe to use in other types of surgery outside of cardiac surgery? So this was a very large trial and the results were really quite compelling. For the first time we showed that Firstly, the benefits of the drug uh, were as expected, but now very clearly delineated. In fact, the results were so um, important that there was a dramatic reduction uh, in bleeding complications, uh, the need for blood transfusion, and the risk of patients needing further surgery, emergency surgery, for serious bleeding or cardiac tamponade after surgery. So that really demonstrated the benefits of the drug. But of course, the main focus of the study was around the safety of the drug. Did, it, did that benefit with bleeding reduction come at a cost of extra uh, clotting or thrombotic events? And in our analysis, we showed very clearly there is no such risk. And this is really important. This means we can now use this drug much more commonly, probably at a higher dose than many have used up until now. And it has relevance outside of cardiac surgery because the same drug is now being used more often uh, in orthopaedic surgery, uh, some other trauma surgery and burn surgery and so on. And we can now feel much more reassured that it doesn't cause thrombotic risk, uh, that in fact it will clearly reduce bleeding complications. This um, uh, is obviously important for patient recovery after surgery and their long-term health. But it's also uh, a cost benefit to society and to the hospitals caring for the patients because we can reduce both serious complications, reduce the time they spend in the intensive care unit, reduce the need for blood transfusion. So all in all, for a relatively cheap drug, we get really quite dramatic uh, benefits. And this, I think, has worldwide significance.